What's going on guys? Trainer Tobes here with you. As you can see right here in front of me, we have two Twilight Masquerade booster boxes. As you can also probably tell right in front of me, is they are two different Twilight Masquerade booster boxes. Weird how that works out. Um, because most of you guys probably know which one is the real one, which one is clearly a fake one. Um, we're going to get into that. I'm not going to tell you which one is which at the moment. Um, you guys can probably tell, and once I show a different example, you guys will definitely be able to tell, I'm sure. So, uh, uh, you know, actually, right now, I'm just going to pause. Right now in the description, or right now in the comments, let me know, left or right, which one is the fake one. Let me know. All right? Just put, we're going for fake, not real. Fake. Which one is fake, right or left? Um, so, I bought these from different sellers um one i bought off ebay the fake one i bought off ebay the real one i bought off of an actual pokey seller um who sells official pokemon products um not the pokemon center or anything like that but a different center so um it's very simple i mean it's pretty easy which one's fake i mean completely different fake box right here this is it the fake on the right i mean obviously legit so some things to tell you whenever you are buying pokemon products online uh, especially off ebay or second hand market stuff you have to be careful because guess what the person who show, who person who was selling this fake one showed a stock picture that they probably got off C tcg player of this booster box right here well this is what i received i received four of them as a matter of fact they're all the same and i the price I got them at, I, I had a feeling they were going to be fake. I mean, it was, it was, I was pretty sure. I mean, I got them for under 100 bucks a piece. I mean, they were like $98. Um, typically, when a price is too good to be true, it's too good to be true. Um, which I, I knew going into it. I bought four of them for a purpose, just on the off chance to see if they were all going to be fake, real, legit, whatever. Now, a couple things you can notice right off the bat. A, the wrapping is really loose. That's not how Pokemon does things. If the box really does get, like, pushed in or everything, the package can be a little loose, but not this loose. I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, I can literally pick it up and dangle it and play with it all I want. Um, first thing, next thing is this booster box. They don't have that up there. Pokemon doesn't have big, bold thing where, hey, the Pokemon Trading Card Center. Um, they put it in little sections. Um, next thing is, you can tell, obviously, the white on the front. That's all, all official booster boxes will be. This one has a symbol. Right, this box actually probably does look a little cooler in a sense, but not real. Um, another thing is, you can see the front right here. A little curve, nice little design on this one. The Pokeballs are also a really easy giveaway. I mean, if the front... This doesn't do it for you. If you don't know what you're looking for, I mean, this is obvious, okay? But also, like the Pokeballs. Hey, oh, man, that looks good. Okay, look, looks all legit, everything. Look at this one closely. The Pokeballs are always slightly angled. Always angled. Every time. Every booster box. Here's my Silver Tempest booster box. Angled. Okay? I know it's kind of hard to see, but they are all angled. Let me see if I can get a better view. This was a hard one to do. Let me get this one. A little bit easier to tell on these. You can see it right there. Angled. Any on the back that are obvious? No, there's not. It's kind of hard to tell on these, okay? But they are all angled. <coughs> okay? These are all perfectly straight. Whether they be upside down or what, they're perfectly straight. Um, Yeah, that's a lot of money to be losing out on. And this could easily scam someone. Now, look. Something else you can do in certain instances. This one, actually, I was actually surprised with how good they are. Um, actually. And... Even a slight possibility that these could potentially be real packs. It was that good. Um, and they could have just weigh them and put them in these boxes. I don't know that for sure. Well, I mean, here's another giveaway. I mean, this is clearly different. Um, oh, wait. I wanted, I wanted to show you this top part. See? Nice small lettering up there. Big bold lettering up here. But the packs. Look on the side. Now, these packs are actually pretty good. Um... The one thing I will say, I don't have my other box with me, do I? Um, is all the packs in each one will look the same. They'll be in the same order and everything. That's just how Pokemon does it because it's easier to tell. These are obviously not in the same order. However, they do look like they could actually be legit packs. So 
I'm actually kind of impressed with the packing, which is actually scary. Um, which they could be real packs, but I have a feeling they're not. Uh, but just something to watch out for. The coloring also is off down here. You can see the coloring difference way different on these sides. Um, so I just wanted to put this out there, and I had a feeling I would be making this video. Kind of the reason why I went and bought them, because I wanted to see if I should make this video or not, which I'm going to, obviously. Or I did. So, I just want you guys to be aware. Please don't get scammed. Please, please, please do not fall for these tricks. Okay? I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this was educational for you. Just be careful on eBay. Buy from reputable people. Preferably not on eBay when it comes to booster boxes and stuff like that. Super easy to get scammed. Way too many sellers for eBay to... I actually don't think they do a good job at catching stuff like this. I actually think it's probably eBay's main weakness, um, personally. Because I, I mean, I can I can go on there and spot fake stuff instantly. So if they had someone who knew, like if they hired me, I could tell you instantly what's fake and what's not. Um, it's actually pretty insane. Um, it, it's just really bad. So I don't think eBay does a great job with it, and I think they would do well to hire someone who actually could spot stuff like this. And test stuff like this out themselves. Buying stuff. And then very easy to return it when you discover it's fake. Um, so just something I would think eBay should do. But go to people like Pokeani, um, Pokemon Center. Even though I don't recommend buying booster boxes from them. Because if you guys have seen my previous videos, you know the experience I've had. But reputable places. Or your local, TC, local game store. Just go to your local game store. Great place to buy them. Typically you get a better deal. Um... So if you guys enjoyed that video, hit that like button for me, subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you guys like this kind of video when I do random stuff like this. Um, and I'll do more of these too if you guys like it. Alright, have a good one. See you next time.